Hey there, this is probably going to be my last update of 2014 as far as the red ear sunfish go. This is spawning red ear sunfish. Um, you can see uh, that I got some of them to fingerling size. I'm going to go ahead and put some commercial feed in there. They they do eat it. They It's just crushed up Aquamax 400. It's in a powder. It fouls the water. I have to clean it a couple times a week to keep the water quality even just not completely terrible but they are for the most part the big guys at least are all eating they'll eat the commercial feed you can see them grabbing on it on its way down they don't really like picking it off the bottom and they don't really like getting it at the top but you know I can keep them alive and when they get bigger I'll be able to transition them to floating feed I'm pretty I'm pretty confident of that um, you can see there's some smaller guys in there I'm not sure that those guys are eating commercial feed. Um, I'm down to about 20 of them. We, you know, we started with the, the spawn was probably, you know, thousands of larvae, maybe maybe tens of thousands. Uh, I was putting in an al um, algae bloom water um, to feed these guys. Um, they were filter feeders at that stage. I got maybe 200 or 300 of them to fry stage and then I made a mistake and put two or three hundred tilapi in there. They were the same size. I didn't think they would be able to eat each other, but the competition for food seemed to be a problem because the red ears were just, they were trying to filter feed the algae, but the, the tilapias, they would filter feed and they would eat commercial feed, so they just kind of outcompeted. Um, I have obviously got all the tilapia out of here. Um, but it was too late. Um, I pretty much killed off all my, um, the majority of my, my red ear fries. Um, wouldn't call it a complete failure. Um, I did add a few, intentionally add a few snails. Um, when I say a few, maybe like four or five, and now you can see there's hundreds. And you can see the snail graveyard at the bottom. Um, as they grow, they're, they're just annihilating the snails. Um, you know, in a few weeks, there won't be any alive anymore. I'm pretty sure, and I'm, that, I definitely think that that has something to do with their growth. Now next year, um, I'm going to do crappie, and you know, even if I were this year to do, you know, bluegill or red ear again, I wouldn't try and keep them in the aquarium. Um, I'd keep them in a large IBC in the algae bloom, I'll, and I'd just keep it outside. Um, I like watching them in the aquarium just to, to you know, learn their behavior, um, learn the procedure but it's not really practical for um, how to you know try and rear these guys and you really need I think I'll, I think uh, the the an IBC tank or you know um, one of those cheap pools were probably best you know in the 400 to 900 gallon range um, anyway and um, so I guess that'll be it these guys I'm going to move them out of here as soon as I can and put them in my outdoor aquaponics as soon as they're big enough. And um, maybe I'll give an update next year, show their first year, their one year growth. But outside of that, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to crappie next year and trying to breed them.